Hey, how are you? I am doing well. This is Heather Alexandra for Kotaku.com, a video game website about video games. And I am joined in the booth by... Paul Tamayo. Paul Tamayo, my friend, my pal, my boy. What's good, gamers? My guy. <laughs> uh, we are playing Greedfall. Oh, yeah. Greedfall, the uh, the James Bond movie. Right. Greedfall. So, so you're Daniel Craig? Oh, man. You know what? There were games where Daniel Craig, he was in like the weird remake of Goldeneye. Remember that oh, thing for the I Wii? I forgot about that. They like had the James Bond that was like that James Bond. Yeah, that's mess- That's weird. Very odd. Yeah. Uh, no, but this is Greedfall. So this is a game by a studio called Spiders, which some people might know of as uh, purveyors of slightly small, uh, somewhat artisanal games of, of varying quality. Uh, mm. including things I think like Technomancer and a couple other things like that. This is their first crack at a uh, a much larger game, kind of a Bioware-style RPG, which in this case is set kind of in an amalgamation that's sort of um, like 18th century Europe and Americas with a little bit of Celtic stuff in there. Okay. Um, so, so you play as this this person who you can customize however you want. This is my character. They are Disarde. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Disarde. Disarde. Uh, which isn't uh, like a a brand of um, bread or something. Delicious, fresh Disarde baguettes. <laughs> um, they are they are like a diplomat for a, a congregation of merchants, uh, and you go around this island trying to help folks with their various. Uh, problems trying to maintain peace between all sorts of different factions wait so where are you right now you are on an island called tier for d it is fictional okay okay uh this is not like a historical game at all um and so you've sailed into the new world oh god i can't even tell where i need to go so i'm just gonna go to the map um i thought this person could help me but i'll just go to the map instead um so you sail from the old continent to this place called Tier for D, partially to help your cousin, who is now the governor of one of the settlements here, a place called New Siren. And you are also looking for a cure to a plague back home called the Malachor, mm. uh, which is very, very evil sounding. Um, and you hear that there might be ways to find a cure here on Tier for D. Um, <laughs> which is good. Somebody says, is it just the Twitch screen, the stream or is the frame rate choppy in the game too? So frame rate is a little choppy in the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as, a, as a little heads up, Malcor 5, thank you for somebody making the uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2 reference so I don't have to. Deep cuts. Um, so this is a slightly uh, rough around the edges game in terms of, I haven't run into many glitches, but it, it is a little choppy. You yeah. can see here, like this is, so it's loading the next area. And anytime this game is like loading, um, it tends to chop chug down mm -hmm. but because it's it's constantly culling in order to make its semi-open world possible it's also constantly loading as you keep on progressing into the game which means that there's a little bit of choppiness Got that's it. my that's my theory as to what's happening technically um because it's not like not everything is loaded over the next hill presumably it has to be culling some of those resources especially in a game like this uh but when you go over those hills then it's going to be where am i where am i going where am i going where am i going um, so this is a native village. We helped them out before. I am uh, piss lost. How nice of you all. Uh, which is a pain in the butt. I'm going to go to this world uh, travel map again. Um, we helped some folks um, in the native tribes because we heard that they might have information about... Um, oh, I guess it really is that I just got to find the village that's here. Uh, interesting. Um, they could help us learn a little bit more about the Malachor. Now we're also going to this village that our buddy Petrus, because you have companion characters in this game, was like, hey, go here. Uh, I'm part of the church, which is this weird faction called Teleme. And he goes, we think that the, like churches often do, they go, <laughs> we think that the plague is being caused by demons. Oh, of course it is. And you're like, hmm, I don't know about that. But they're, the but they're like, we insist it's actually demons. Please go check this out for you. And because you're a diplomat, you're like, um, all right. You're like, you're like, well, very much. Uh, I suppose I shall. Uh, <laughs> Chef, boy, um, be at your service. Something I mentioned in, so I wrote an article about this, which has <laughs> yeah. had some traction both for people who thought it was interesting and some people who maybe thought I was being a little too hard on the game. Um, 
you know, I'm only about 10 hours in or so, and what this game does is it makes it very hard to kind of rock the boat in the initial hours and kind of be like, no, weird church, I don't want to do your stuff. Um, uh, so instead we kind of have to be like, yes, I will, I will totally uh, help you look into these demons, which is fine. Um, so combat is mostly uh, action if you want it to be, but you can also pause and do some things. Interesting. So I, don't know, I can freeze that enemy and then... My build is like very magical. Oh, cool! I can do this fun little shadow dodge. It's a really good dodge. Um, there's a lot of things about this game that I like. Uh, combat is a little janky. Some of the animations are strange, but being able to switch between um, something vaguely resembling turn-based and something else is different. What? There's a boss monster nearby. Where? Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's a big boy. I wasn't pl planning on this. I guess we get to start with some uh, interesting stuff. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So exploring the... It's not a full open world, but uh, exploring the open world can be really fun. Also, sometimes if you want to, you can just uh, fire your gun. Oh, damn. Okay, you got magic and a... And uh, a <laughs> one thing that thing you might you. notice from my companion characters is that they're going to start repeating their combat barks a lot. Oh, oh Jesus. Fun. That was scary. They, they, have like, they each have like <laughs> two barks. But this guy has a lot of armor. <laughs> and so they're always like... So uh, this one of my characters here is Vasco. He's like a sailor. He's part of a faction called the Knots, which are basically like sailors who start sailing from a young age, Jedi style. Okay. It's a little interesting. They're like, ah, I was given up to the sea. Har, har, har. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, that's scary. Um, but one of the things he says at the start of every battle is like, a little bit of poison on my blade, and here we go, or whatever. Oh, and God. you hear it at the start of every single fight. Great. Um, but the combat itself, I, I kind of like, even though the animations are a little clumsy. Yeah. Uh, this is a good dodge, but when you're in sword mode, like I am, it's not great. You can also have, like, broad swords and great hammers and things like that, um, which is pretty decent. Will my stasis power work on them? Oh, it does, but not for very long. So admittedly, I don't know a whole ton about this game yes. outside of what I read from your uh, impressions so far. <laughs> so I was going to say uh, more, but I got distracted by this giant uh, tree monster. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I'm curious. It's like, so you, you said that this is obviously, I mean, there's magic and monsters and stuff. Yeah, so it's a totally fictional setting, but mm. definitely pulling off a lot of um, <laughs> a, a lot of different things. Oh, my God, that scares me. Uh, so I also have Siora in my party. She's like... Um, part of the native faction and she can heal me which is like which is why she never leaves my party ow oh jesus do i have Damn. potions your health is low hero do you have any potions or food <laughs> shout outs to the headmaster from fable <laughs> just a bunch of deep cuts today oh wow the my rifle's not really doing anything to this thing oh he hits so hard oh shit oh ah Oh, you're getting there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh boy. So I do. I do like this game in in its individual pieces. What I struggle with right now, at least in the early hours, is that um, I don't really quite know what it's trying to aim for. What it really wants to do. Level 15. My wow. goodness. Um, did they drop anything good? Horn of the Forest King. Thank you. Um, which which I kind of outlined in, in the article that I wrote, which is to say it's using, uh, you know, visual language and stuff from a setting that's kind of fraught, um, mm. very, like, colonial, native-y, expansion-y stuff is, is... Not my favorite. <laughs> is not the best. Yeah, no, I can... I, Paul, I can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> um, right? So it, it's tricky stuff. Um, and in the early hours, I've not had because it has to set up all of its factions and in order to set up all of its factions it kind of funnels funnels players towards a position of um kind of middle management really playing the diplomat you only have so many chances to kind of call people out for their bullshit mm. um it means that the early game makes you feel pretty complicit right, in, right, in right. some weird stuff or at least if you feel like like, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. Um, 
And I want that shoe to drop because I think you can use settings like this to tell complicated stories and interesting stories. Sure. Um, you just got to get there. Oh, where's the village? Yeah, there go, it is. <laughs> Ghost Little in the chat's like, can you, uh, you know, defeat, I'll say, the colonizing racists? So people, in one of my things in the article I said was like, hey, there's this racist cardinal and I wanted to stab him in the neck, but the game really pushes you towards kind of being like oh no whatever ha 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 you <laughs> just you just choked that guy to death for being a sinner oh. um and the game doesn't i should stress the game doesn't really give you an option to choke him to death you can or, or um or like stab the bad guy yet uh it, it gives you a chance to be like hey i don't believe in your god um but it doesn't give you a chance to like intercede and stop certain things yet which i'm hoping that as the game progresses you you start to have a little bit more um control over what's happening on the island because mm -hmm. you're supposed to be kind of an important player. Why is that deer so mad at me? Um, and it doesn't quite feel like that at the start. You feel way more like an errand person, um, which is interesting. I should, uh, what do we want here? We want shadow burst for sure. That's what I've been saving up for. Do I get anything else right now? No. So um, so that shoe that you're talking about, that you're waiting for it to drop. I'm waiting for all these factions to really come into conflict. Right, right, right. I'm waiting for, you know, lines to be drawn mm -hmm. and sides to be chosen. And some of these, um, some of these factions are in open conflict. And you have to navigate that. But the way that the game is positioned right now is that it really pushes you down the road of um, compromise and placating certain factions like i like fuck Teleme. like i hate them so much mm. and so far uh, it's mostly been like hey help us out that's uh, the church right yeah uh like there might there's but there's also a faction called the bridge alliance which is nominally supposed to be a bunch of naturalists and scientists and stuff and it's very clear that they're involved in some weird ass research and are probably kidnapping natives and stuff and so far, I've had to be like, yes, of course, Your Eminency, I will go take care of that problem for you. And at some point, I want to be like, hey, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess that's that's me ar articulating my thoughts about this. And because I think it's an interesting setting in certain ways. Sure. And you can't be like, uh, abandon a quest and be like, actually, no, I'm not going to no, do that. No, so there's some things in here that are cool, though, in the sense that um, your companions all have quests, and if you ignore those quests for so long... Uh, your companions can get angry and abandon you. There's things in here where you are managing faction reputation. There's um, individual reputation. Like, hey, if I piss off the church, that will make Siora like me more. But how do I balance all of that? Um, those are cool systems. I don't know if the game's using them to their full potential yet. Mm. I want to be placed in uncomfortable situations. I want to be placed in situations where compromise is tempting and I have to kind of push back against it, but it's not really facilitated those things yet. Right. It's mostly pushed me down the road of um, sort of like really playing uh, the the diplomat, which I you know is partially the point. Um, but I've had some people suggest to me that the game is trying to make a lot of comments about these systems by making it hard to actually resist them. But the, the thing that's going on here, at least in the early hours, is that it's not making it hard to resist things or to enact change. It's actually not giving me the option, hmm. right? Um, that's my spiel on that. Uh, that being said, uh, I do like hats with feathers in them. Sure. <laughs> I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, apparently. Yeah, it's also like, I don't know. So yeah, it's been it's been tricky. I've had a lot of thoughts about this. Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I've been open about these things. I'm certainly having them right now live. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Um The way that they handle the native popula population of Tierfordy here is that it tends to be a little bit more leaning towards Celtic stuff. Mm -hmm. Um you can hear it in the language that they're speaking just a smidge. Mm. Oh wow, there's a ton. Usually oh, you don't have usually you don't have dialogue trees that are this big. Um one of my kind of harkening back to the problem that I was talking about before, one of the problems that I've had with Greedfall is that it it's really limited your potential responses to things. Um, it's really limited the questions you can ask of people, the things that people will say to you. Um, whereas I think, a, you know, and it makes sense because, you know, if, you, if you're making Bioware, you have the budget to make massive dialogue trees that you might not have when making a game like this. 
but it does end up biting the game in the ass every now and then. Hmm. I never get the sense that this is coming from a place of bad faith, um, but I feel like some of the limitations of the dialogue system and the uh, and sort of the the way that faction management is handled uh, thus far hasn't allowed me to be as expressive in in the setting as I would like to be. Um, it's actually kind of not allowed me the type of role play that I would like. So they seem more just like like blind spots more than anything. Right. It feels like you know I, I think back to sort of what I was talking about before when people were like, well, what if that's like the systems are trying to get, limit your options? But I don't get the sense that this is something like Tyranny, right? Like mm-hmm. Tyranny was a game that was like, we will severely hamper the amount of options that you have um, uh, because this is a game that's about exploring certain power structures and, and making you explicitly complicit in them. Um, even if you like decide like, hey, in Tyranny, I'm going to undermine XYZ faction. Um, I don't have the chance to do that yet. What I mean by expression is even something as small as, you know, I think of the game Planescape Torment a lot, which is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And one of the things that that game does very, very often is that it'll, it'll give you the two of the same dialogue options, but it'll give you a chance to determine whether or not your character is telling the truth or lying, right? Um, so there's a lot of, like somebody says, hey, did you love me? Mm-hmm. And like you have a variety of options of Planescape Torment, but one thing you can say is yes. And it's the truth. And another one that you can say is yes, but it's a lie. And I would love for a game like this that's ostensibly about navigating certain power structures to give me a lot more opportunities to really determine the intent or the thoughts of my character. To be like, yes, your excellency, lie option or whatever. Um, Even that amount of expression would go a long way, I think to making this game the game that I kind of every now and then see slivers of Mm -hmm. pieces of Um, but yeah you're sitting here right now we're both sitting here right now going yeah (laughs) right yeah and navigating that's fine yeah I mean it's like I don't know. It's nothing new from like the perspective of someone who plays a lot of games. A lot of games that come out all often have these sorts of settings and, you know, those sorts of mechanics that are like, you know, uh, take shit over <laughs> and help establish, uh, you know, order and shit like that. Um, right. I, know, like, I don't know if that's what it's going to be hmm. yet. That's the first time anybody's ever said the name of the continent that I've noticed. Except in data logs or things like that. There's a lot of lore. If you like lore, there's a lot of things. Wow, there are there's way more dialogue options here. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? I didn't bring along Petrus <laughs> because he's the he's my companion who belongs to Teleme, the church. Mm. And uh He's old and boring, and also he belongs to Teleme, the church. <laughs> uh, we kind of have an idea of what he might do in these kind of situations. I don't, I don't care for them. Yeah. Everything, er, all of the facts, like, at least, I will say this, at the very least, this game seems to have an equally dim opinion of Teleme. <laughs> okay. Because the first time I dealt with them, they were persecuting people for uncovering historical fact that conflicted with church doctrine. <laughs> um, I helped those people escape from the church, as you do. Word. And uh, the other time I met them, they were in a uh, courtyard um, choking like non-believers to death. So it's very clear that I'm not supposed to like them. It makes me think of um, like you played New Vegas, right? A little bit, yeah, yeah. You know how they had Caesar's Legion, mm. and it was like, here's your evil faction. Yeah. And presumably I must presumably I will have the option to put them in control if I want to. I have to imagine a lot of the end game resolve re, you know resolves itself and revolves itself around which faction you choose to actually place in control over the broad you know swaths of the island or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um but fe- but choosing to lay me right now feels like like the worst possible idea. Right. Um but you could like double down and choose to just ride with them the whole time. Or does, do you get that? Impression? I get the, I get the sense that there's parts of it. I can be like, yes, I totally believe in this. Mm-hmm. Or like, cause there was definitely an option that was like, Hey, do you want to turn in these people running away from oh, the church? Shit. And I was like, 
Because, I mean, it's a role-playing game. Sure, so they, sure, they sure. always want to do that shit. But the answer is like, do I want to do that? No, <laughs> uh, not at all. Um, it also makes me think of, for people in the chat who might be familiar with it, I think of um, Deus Ex Invisible War, uh, which is a game that a lot of Deus Ex people hate. Um, and what it makes me think of about that is that there's also an option in that game to support uh, what are the Knights Templar, who hate oh. everybody who's like technologically augmented and stuff, but you're augmented. So siding with them is like the dumbest thing you can do. <laughs> and at the end of the game, it's very much implied that they just go around hanging people, including oh. you or something. Wow. Um, because because you're a schmuck. <laughs> you, you fool. You fool? Why would you? Who's man's? Why would you ever be like, uh, why, yes, uh, <laughs> Templars. I totally agree with you. I'm so searching right the area. Right this way, everybody. What am I searching the area for? Because I've asked what I can of many of these inhabitants. So I need to know what it's looking for me. Um, and yeah, I'm totally fine with role-playing games that give you the... Oh, maybe that person up there that I didn't see. Uh, games that give you an options to even do the dumb shit, right? Right, right. Um, that's fine. But I don't know. Um, I guess that's a roundabout way of me saying I'm judging anybody who is like yes to Lame. Yeah, yeah. They seem dull. What am I looking for? Uh, is there any more guidance here in the journal? Question the village inhabitants. None of them want to talk with me. As well they should. <laughs> Like, no, nah, I'm good. Caesar's Legion is not as nuanced as you think. Uh, the fact... Uh, you know what? I'll, qu I'll quote Arcade Ganon. Uh, Caesar can quote Cato to su suit his purposes, but he's also just a really big bully the whole time. Uh, um, there is not as much nuance to Caesar's Legion as you think in that game. Uh, there really isn't. Are there going to be people up here? I'm trying to find like the next person who maybe I can talk to. In this village. Because if it's all the people down there, it's like... Yes, I never thought the Templars would purge me. <laughs> That's what it is in uh, Invisible War. It's like that get, It's like that meme of uh, What's the Eric Andre name? with the gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I can't believe you did this. Who shot Hannibal? <laughs> is this... I, I feel like I've talked to everyone. Don't nobody want to talk to you. Just like Puss in Boots, no one wants to talk to you. Can't you leave us alone? Leave me be. Yeah, no one wants to talk with me, but the game is like, you should talk to everybody. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Uh, you have a strange stare, I have a strange stare. Damn. If I don't know how to properly progress this quest soon, I'll probably consider a different quest. Maybe this dude. Maybe this fellow? It's got it. Oh, wait, that's your dude. No, it's That's not. not your dude? No. Can't talk to this fellow? Because the last thing I want to do is run around this uh, this village and not get anywhere. I have another idea, which is going to be a fucked up idea. What Go if, on. What if I, I dressed oh, like them shit. and was like, hey, tell Yo. me about your stuff. They're like, this isn't the same person. No. Oh, that's damn. that's why I did that. That's why I did that because I thought maybe that was a hint. Oh my lord almighty! I want to wear this. It's gold quality, but I need endurance too, and uh, I don't have endurance too, uh, which is a, a pain in my butt. Jesus. The notorious search area question village inhabitants. Nobody can. I can't talk to anybody. A little bit of an awkward game. Can I... Like, this guy didn't... Leave us alone. Damn. They hate me. They hate your ass. They should. There might be people up in here. Someone said it was there building at the top of the stairs. That's what I'm thinking, but I mean, like... Oh. 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 Who's man's? Oh, you we sneaker! Did it. You sneaky! Gosh darn it, game! Uh, ask about their rituals. 
Some people in chat were uh, laughing about the facial animation. Uh, this is a very small team that's made this game. I understand it's like 12 to 15 people or something. Oh, wow. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's a very limited amount of people. I don't know. I'm, I've asked so many people. I'm going to ask you about this demon. You heard about this demon? Is there a demon? To be fair, I did just fight a tree monster on the way here. Yeah. You seen this shit? If he's like, I've never heard of demons. No. See, oh, you're talking about y'all. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Damn. Uh, I'm just going to ask him everything. I'm thinking about Caesar's Legion now. <laughs> the wasteland is harsh, so we're going to enslave everybody. Uh, and, and that'll be fine. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know. That's to, a solution. To be fair, NCR sucks in, in New Vegas. New California Republic. Not that great. I have, like, this birthmark that mostly only people on the island have. So they keep on oh. going, they keep on going, like, hey, why, why do you keep on asking us questions like that if you literally are probably born here? Um, <laughs> the answer is I don't know. It's very unclear to me why my character has that birthmark yet. And mm. I don't think the game's going to ever reveal it other than, ah, eh, they just do. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine, I suppose. Oh, oh. Oh, that helped. Did it. Those who wear the symbol of the sun in their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. If this guy's also like fuck to Lame, we were wrong. Uh, I'll be like, yeah. Nature, and not to be yeah, back off, guys. We ignored them. They finally left. I just want to see this demon. I don't know if there's really a demon. So I guess my general complaints with this game are not, like, combat or even world exploration. It's been such a limited use of its setting, uh, which is to say, um, for an RPG game, I don't always, you know, an RPG game, ATM machine. <laughs> for a role-playing game, I don't always have um, uh, sufficient range to really play a role of my choosing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is fine. Sometimes you don't have to. That happens in Mass Effect, right? Like, I'm always going to be Shepard. Right. I'm always going to be the Spectre with the special powers who can do whatever. But I get, to, I get to choose who I am within that context. Sure. Same thing with Dragon Age Inquisition, if we're going to go back to Bioware games, where I, I am, no matter what, people are like, you're the Herald of Andraste. And you're like, I, I don't know about that. And they're like, yeah, but you are. And you're like, I'm just an elf <laughs> who got caught up in some bullshit. And now or, I'm here. Or a Kunari mercenary who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um and you have a lot of range within that role to really define who your character is, what the relationship is to different power structures and things like that. I actually think um, some people uh, are rough on, on a game like Inquisition, even though Inquisition is actually pretty good about offering you really nice companion characters and a lot of chances to really define your relationship with different people and different organizations. I want that in this game, right? I want chances to really... Um, have that range and that range just hasn't existed in the early hours I, I i imagine i really do think it's going to happen near the end where they finally are like the church has done a thing what are you going to do and i'm going to be like uh fuck their couch like no no thanks I don't want to just search a guy's house. <sighs> I don't want to break his pods. Damn. Grimy. <laughs> I'm just going to walk up to him and ask first. Because <laughs> yeah, my, or... my charisma score is really high. Uh, or I'll just ask somebody else. Um, there, there are some chances where you actually have a lot of different options to handle a quest. So on an early quest line, they were like, hey, you have to sneak into this place and they were like oh you can just sneak in if you want and i was like okay and they were like well if you wear a um like a factional outfit you can walk in here without arousing too much suspicion and i was like okay or they were like if your science score is high enough you can blow a wall in the compound and sneak in or you can make a sleeping potion to give to people and make them pass out 
there are definitely um there are definitely options like in that so i'm hoping at least the quests continue to have options that are like hey um or like the game's been pretty good about not forcing me into combat when i don't want it ignoring the fact when giant tree people attack me mm -hmm. um and i'm hoping that that continues uh I'm hoping that there's at least chances to be like, I'll sneak in here and I won't cause any shit. So yeah, that, that stuff on your face is what you were talking about a second ago, right? That birthmark? It's like some sort of birthmark. Um, it is some sort of... Uh, <laughs> how do I blow up a hole and sneak in? Don't ask, you just do. Somebody says the subtitles are bad. There's a lot of misspelling in them. Oh, uh, I don't know if you saw some there. I don't. I wasn't really looking at them, um, but 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 they have been uh, very inconsistent. Uh, are you gonna go distract this dude? He's gonna like, excuse me. I really wish that there was another option. Like, I, this feels like an option where I should be able to use like my charisma or my intuition and just be like, hey, to do something. Yeah. Um, although sometimes I'm okay with characters who are just totally, um, unable to be swayed. Like sometimes it's fine for a character to like stick to their convictions, like an NPC or whatever. But I've had a lot of options mostly in the game to use my like. If you're playing this game, if you want to play this game, dump your points into charisma. Mm. Like, just go for it. Don't don't pour your points into like vigor or something. Vigor lets you cross like balance beams or some <laughs> or like some bullshit. Or occasionally Trash. like or like lift a rock every now and then. No, dump into charisma so that you can just skip a lot of nonsense. Mm. Uh, it's a much better idea than anything else that's been going on. Because um, this definitely feels like a situation where I could just be like. Um, if I had a, a good... I don't know why they were like, you have to sneak into this guy's house. This is what I mean by limitations sometimes. Mm. There are some quests where you are able to do a lot of things, and there are other quests when you're not. I feel like this should have been an opportunity. There are even times in quests where you can just sneak up and listen to people, mm. and that will be enough to f fulfill a condition. Like, Or you could have walked up to them and asked them questions about it. Oh, <laughs> um, here, here I kind of wish that I could have just gone up to that guy, done a charisma check, and be like, hey... Uh, Listen, I know this is really odd, and I'm sorry, uh, but can I? Can you answer more stuff for me? Can I? Yeah. Can I see some more of your whatever? Um, I'm hoping this isn't leading to the idea that he's actually summoning demons, because then I don't want Talame to be like, Ah, yes, we were right. <laughs> Time to move it. See, because she's doing it already. Oh, there were unholy things in there. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Slow down, lady. This is why I hate Talame. But she's probably going to be right. Yeah. Uh, he won't lead me into a trap because I'm player one and I'm super <laughs> powerful. No, it's been a complicated experience. Exit the village and wait for night to fall? Well... I have another option instead, which is why I think they put this camp here, which is to rest at the camp until night, which is good. Okay. Yeah, I think the idea is that he probably would not have let me in. Like, maybe he's the villain for this quest arc, so they can't be, have him be like, yes, search my house, but I don't know. Um Man, this has this, this game hasn't always been as interested in exploring its setting and its characters to its fullest, I think. Hmm. Perhaps we could hide and wait here. Then we will be able to see where this Perhaps we could hide and wait here. <laughs> You're just talking about this out in the open. Huh? Uh, uh. Follow the nervous man. Oh, God. Me in Times Square. Every <laughs> I was going to say, it's me going home. Follow the man with anxiety. Uh. Uh. Gotta be a sneaky snake. Yeah. Oh, for a minute, I was like, what's that up there? <laughs> and it's him climbing. 
Whose footprints are these? <laughs> huh? Huh? What was that noise? Every single time we stream. <laughs> Seriously. I fucking can't. I it, can't it get a, I can't get enough of Metal Gear Solid <laughs> um, guards. Oh, he's just dipping. How am I supposed to, sc to discreetly follow him if I'm following him into oh. a, a, a pack of bats? He just runs right past him, too. Oh, bats got damn. no beef with him. There's so many bats. They're like, that's just Carl. Let him go. He's cool. Oh, my God. Can I get past these poison bats? They seem to be checking you out. Like, yo, you good? No. You oh, see nothing? Mm, nope. Nothing. You see nothing? Nothing, nothing, here, ah, nothing to see here. No. Oh, fuck it. All right. Time to scrap. Yeah, see, he says it right there. Bit of poison <laughs> on my blade. I like Vasco. I, uh, the char the companion characters haven't been too bad. They just haven't gotten a lot of um, time to, like... You don't have a lot of dialogue options with them, which is kind of surprising, because I'm used to characters that you really get to untangle dialogue trees with. Mm. You do get quest lines with them. They all have their unique quest lines. So Vasco wanted to find out more about his parents... Because he's a Jedi sailor. Mm -hmm. uh, Siora wanted wants to settle a matter where like her mother was killed. Uh, my another person named Kurt uh, just wants to figure out who murdered his his buddy. So it's like a murder mystery. Mm. So there are all these unique quest lines, but there are there haven't been as many chances to um, just pick these characters' brains on certain things. Um, even though they follow you around everywhere. I want those. I want those deep dialogue trees where it's like, "What kind of uh, frosting do you like, vanilla or <laughs> <laughs> whatever else?" Uh, what kind of frosting do you like? Me? Yeah. Uh, so I like vanilla cake. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, quite a bit, uh, because I find that chocolate cakes, my friend, um, are sometimes just a little too rich. Yeah, I get that. Uh, they go a little crazy. I'll I'll do like a uh, like a light frosting and an angel food cake. Okay. It's pretty good. Demon? Oh, damn. Huh? Is there really a demon? Yeah, I want to see what's up with this game. I might as well. Everybody's been, like, Heather C through the end. I'm gonna, but... Wow. It's like, very I don't know what's going on. Commendable. You look so pale. Did the lightning strike three hits you? In a way... I saw so many visions. That's what that was? It looked like just a bunch of fire. I know, just a bunch of fire. That's not what I saw. <laughs> but that's fine. There's the fire. Oh, I'm I'm Vasco. He kind of has like that sailory accent. He's the Jedi. A little bit, yeah. He doesn't know magic though. Trash. But he's like, I was given to the sea as a young child. Never knew me parents. <laughs> the sea life chose and me. And you're like, ah, sea Jedi. <laughs> and you're like, okay. He's like one of the few. Like, I don't want to bring Petrus along on any of my quests because he, like he's the church dude, and I cannot yeah. do with that. Vasco has very much been like. Uh, let's sneak in and do like crimes, and I'm like, yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, fuck. what's up? Like 100%. And Sierra has been pretty decent in terms of just providing a good. And like, anytime people we meet are um <laughs> are causing like shit, she's always like, y'all suck, <laughs> and I appreciate that. I appreciate that quite a bit. It's good to have a character that at least is like not down with everybody else's bullshit. Mm. Um, so I travel with Siora and Vasco because the other options are like Petrus and Kurt. Kurt's like a soldier. He's like a coin guard. Okay. Uh, he's like my master at arms or some shit. Um, and he doesn't seem like a bad fellow, but he seems very much like a law and order character, and that's boring. <laughs> okay. So I need to figure out... Clearly, I must use these statues uh, to do something. Uh, is there a hint on what that might be? Because otherwise, I'm just going to... Ah? Can you use magic on them? Oh, wait, wait. Well, I can just turn them on. Maybe I just need to flick them all. 
Yeah. Screw it. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this candle. Oh, oh lit. evidently. Yeah, there he says it. <laughs> <laughs> My good buddy Vasco. <laughs> I think the vision was the hint. Yeah, they're going to say it again, which is good. Storm. Okay. I should have listened to the whole thing. I didn't think it was going to interrupt. Fire. Let's see which ones are. So it might be water. The moon. Not a, Not fire. Well, I think you have to go in order. So it's the storm, the storm. and then lightning and Got then it. fire. Right. So I think it goes. This is uh, a game of Simon. Ah, oh, damn. What? Ah. What was the first one I hit then? I'm just going to do a trial and error style. Bit of poison on his blade. <laughs> and then we go. In case go. you missed it. Uh, what if it's the lightning strike first then? Damn it. Jesus. The first one I hit was the storm. Yeah, every time. This guy's going to drive me nuts. You know what Vasco loves? Poison on his blade. Oh, yeah, he loves it. I do like this dash. That's a fun dash. Uh, first one somebody says was storm. Ice. Lightning. Maybe it's lightning? Oh, wind. wind. Might it's be wind. Gotta be wind. Hell wind. yeah! Hit that wind. Then that. Then the uh, rain. Wind, rain, lightning, rain, fire. Rain, rain. Fuck God you! God damn it! All right, so we know wind. Do Earth? you remember? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. It's <laughs> one of first nights of September. September. That's all. That's yeah. I was thinking about it the whole time, but I really <laughs> say a bit of poison on so his blade. Earth, uh, then goes. wind, and yeah, then, then fire. Uh, fire. Uh. All right, so we know so it's wind. It's wind, wind, lightning, water, earth, wind, lightning, fire. fire. I think it's gonna be water. Wind, lightning, fire. Don't. No, Ooh. wind, lightning, fire. Okay. What's this? Uh. No. Death. No. Moon. What the? F Is it the death, death. star? Wind, okay. lightning, fire, death. death. Um, what's left? Earth. Damn, Damn it. it! I'm gonna write this down. Wind, lightning, fire, death. Wind, lightning, fire, death. I guess this is free experience. It's true. It's free, it's free real estate. Poison does it. Free real estate. Uh, so, fuck. <laughs> Wind. Water. No, no, no. Lightning. Lightning. Was this fire? fire? fire. No, that's the death Damn one. Why'd it. I hit that button? YouTube comment. Well, you uh, I understood not the a real tree gamer. vision right away. Yeah. How did you not get it on your first try? Yeah, I think life is last. So it might be water, yeah. Wind. Wind. Lightning. Lightning. Fire. Fire. Death. Death. Death, water, life. Death. Water, life. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see? Oh, you got a cave now. Oh, hell yeah. Just walk into this. Bonk. <laughs> Bloody sanctuary. It's scary. Ooh. I'm getting, like, light Dragon's Dogma vibes. Oh, gosh. Dragon's Dogma. Everybody just go play Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, word. What are you doing with your life? Actually, yeah. I need to play more of that game. I gotta finish that game. <gasps> they are not telling us if they're gonna be, there's gonna be a Dragon's Dogma 2. And just do that, it. That is usually a decent sign that they're they're thinking of something that they're doing. <laughs> that they're doing it. They're like, we can't talk about the future of the Dragon's Dogma franchise at this time. And you're like, I wonder why that is. Yeah, we're not we're not ready to announce anything. Yeah, yep, that's the one. Oh no. 
there really was a guy doing evil stuff. Oh shit! But I was Damn. Ah, look at all that ragu. Come on! Oh yeah! Oh boy! Damn! Oh boy! Come on, guys! Is this really what we're doing? Blood ghost? So it's like, the church was right. Ah. Which is funny, because I did another... I guess they're trying to show, like... It's one of those, there's bad stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why would you cut the palm of your hand to get blood when you could just, like, prick your fingertip or something? <laughs> come on. Come on. I roll my eyes. <laughs> I roll my Whoa. eyes so much. Well, my cape. What a strange ritual. Oil has never seen. Why? Why can't I just stop out? Step out and be like, I don't know. I feel. Huh. I feel railroaded a lot. Yeah. I, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of like, yeah go yeah. here to this person, then see the scene, and go do this other thing, which is fine. Um, yeah. But it's, yeah. Where's the gray? I want to. I want to see what's going on. Yeah. I want to see what's going on because because I what I don't want, and I'll tell you what I don't fucking want. What's that? I really don't want. I don't want to have gone from before this, which I did go from a scene where there was like, oh, the bridge alliance like did some did some crappy slaughter because they did because because they're weird scientists and they have no qualms about anything, uh, and I don't want to go from that immediately to ah uh, yes but there's demon rituals mm. blah 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 yeah 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 huh uh, we gotta talk to the dude down here Vasco what's on your mind bit of poison on my blade <laughs> like, oh yeah okay. and let's go <laughs> should have figured uh Kurt says Watch out! Things are about to get dicey! <laughs> All the time. That's his line. Oh. We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Uh, we, did, we didn't assist in uh -huh. anything. We, we uh, lit a fucking candle or two to open a door. Yeah, we like pressed th the doorbell. Every now and then I get the sense that there's structural stuff in quests that changed from the initial writing of the quest, and the writing hasn't necessarily oh. changed to reflect that. Interesting. Um, this is definitely a rough around the game, rough around the, <laughs> rough around the, <laughs> rough around the game's edges, <laughs> uh, rough around the edges game in a lot of ways, not just because of um, some of the other stuff going on with it. I want to finish this quest. I have like 10 minutes. I got to go. Oh, you got a call. I got an important uh, call to handle, but this will give you, so I hope this gives people a sense of why my initial times with this game have been just fraught. It's yeah. Just like just a just a strange ass process. Um, confronting the stress that the Renoixi make up, we call them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication? Oh hell yeah! Talk to spirits. Witness was not a discussion, but if you visit the sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. Maybe I can go f perform this ritual really quick, and that'll be the end of it. Over the what is it? Over the river and through, through the, the woods, woods to, grand to grandmother's house, house you go. go. It's bananas. Is it is it off the world map though? Ah, watch out! Uh, things are about to get <laughs> dicey. <laughs> Put a poison on my blade. <laughs> I was gonna say that I couldn't remember the exact word. Here we go. A bit of poison on my blade. Yeah. What if I? Where's the? Yeah. What if we? You must gather your <laughs> your companions before traveling forth. Um, there's also Afra. She's part of the Bridge Alliance. She's like an alchemist. Oh. I want to have like three characters at any given one time, but I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have Kurt join us. Skirt. So that uh, if we do fight something very briefly, you can hear his wonderful voice line. Ready, wait for it. Oh, no, we got rid of Vasco, so we don't get to hear him at the start. Let's see if we get uh, Kurt to say it. Come on, Kurt. Take it away, Kurt. 
Oh, we're getting healed. There it is. Hell yeah, Kurt. Things are about to get dicey. Nailed it. Oh, level 16. Something good did happen. All right. Look at, look at Kurt. Look at this fucking cop. <laughs> look at this freaking guy. I just want to... I want to get rid of all the bad guards in the guard, and then the good guards will handle everything fine. Yeah, that'll work out. That's like his whole plot line. Ooh. Buffalo? Weird. Ooh. Freak lions? Oh, they're kind of cute. Oh, I like them, actually, yeah. They got to kill it now. You already started. Do I? Uh, you got to kill Oh, I, I added a new magical ability, which is... But... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Things are about to get dicey, folks. There he goes again. Good Move old away. Kurt. Uh, I don't know if we'll reach the thing in time, but we can try. Kurt. You got you got four minutes. You know what Kurt loves? When shit gets fucking <laughs> dicey. Dicey. I like the way he says dicey. I like the voice actors in this game, for the most part. They're doing what they can. Bit of poison on my blade. <laughs> Could have recorded a couple more lines, though. Yeah, I wish there was like at least like maybe three or four per character. Yeah. And right now there just ain't. Uh. Oh. This is Petrus. Oh, oh yeah, he looks like a Petrus. Here, Look at him with dude. your, uh, with your little conquistador uh, goatee, and your little helmet. He's like, he's like, oh, I met you when you were a child at court. And you're like, dude, get yeah, out of here, you off. creeper priest guy. <laughs> I don't like Petrus. Oh, I should do this before I forget. Uh, attributes. Uh, I'm actually going to do endurance to start to be able to wear better armor. And Ooh. then talents. Oh, do I not have any? No, no. I actually have plus one locksmithing smithing picking right now because I... So you can customize your armor and add a lot of different things. The crafting system in this game is actually pretty decent. Um, and one thing I added was just a little pouch that has a bunch of lockpicks. And mm. they were like, congratulations, your lockpick is now level one. And I was like, that's what I was hoping for. Nice. Uh, excuse me? I just need to <laughs> do a thing. hermit. That's me, boy. That's me. <laughs> Finely aged hermit. It's your boy. You are on it's my cameo in this game. We do not have enough time to proceed. Nah, damn. Uh, I'm skipping loot spots because I was trying ah. to get the uh, <laughs> get the questing done. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to go. Man, fuck Teleme. I don't. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like Teleme. I've made it clear so much. It's a it's an interesting game. It's a weird game. Mm. I have problems with it. I want to see where it leads. Yeah, I'm so curious to hear your Mostly thoughts. Mostly out of later on. At this point, professional curiosity. Sure. Uh, not because I the game's been been gripping gripping me entirely. Yeah, there's but you no, have like a morbid curiosity. I want to know what the plague's all about. I bet you it's magical. I bet you it's some weird thing. Demons. Oh my god. Man. Kurt. Aha. Ah, I'm an old hermit. That's uh, me. But we'll head up. We'll end up heading down here. Swamp Sanctuary. But yes, we will continue our quest for demons and stuff. You got to see me fight a giant monster. The combat's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this game. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> I guess, like you said, too, you're going to be playing more of it, and then hopefully we'll hear from you. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop, but yeah. I'm also very nervous. Word. All uh, right. And I'm sorry about that. We can probably end it there, though, today. Yeah. Thanks so uh, much we'll for joining us. We'll keep on going. Us. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. So uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Appreciate it. And we'll see you around. Yeah. Bye, friends.